Do you know what no one likes? That person who seemingly has forgot where they come from. Maybe it's a coworker. You work side by side with them for years. They get a supervisory position and immediately they change. They're different. Right, they can no longer talk to certain people. They can no longer do certain things or take breaks when you take breaks. They're a different person. Or maybe it's a friend you knew as a child and they moved away and you bump into them somewhere and they act like they don't know you. They act like they can't remember uh, where they come from, where you used to hang out, the friends you used to have. They've changed, they're different and they've forgotten where they come from. So today we're gonna to talk about that and how that applies to our spiritual life. Hi, I'm Pete with Golly Family Discipleship. Me and my wife, Shauna, want you to come into our home and share in the Bible study process with us through social media, and we do this on a daily basis. We believe the best way to disciple your family is to read and study the Word of God together. Today, we're on Ephesians chapter 2, and we're on verses 11, 12, and 13. I'm going to read 12 and 13, and then we'll start our discussion. That At that time, ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenant of promise, having no hope and without God in this world. But now, in Christ Jesus, ye, you who sometimes were far off, made nigh by the blood of Jesus Christ. So what the Apostle Paul is basically telling the uh, church of Ephesus here is, don't forget where you come from. Right? You look at the world and you see the things that are going on around us. And you see the evil. You see the darkness. You see this spirit of the Antichrist that is moving across our nation. And you think, and, you're, and, and you know what the easy thing to do is be judgmental. To say, I, oh, I can't believe they act that way. I can't believe they do that. I can't believe they say that. But what we soon forget is we was that way. Right? We were separated from Jesus Christ. We lived in sin. For the Bible says, for we have all sinned and come short of the glory of God. And we have to look at this world from that, that compassionate standpoint of, they're just where I used to be. How can I help them get to where I am now? How can I help them get to a relationship with Jesus Christ? How can I help strengthen that relationship with Jesus Christ? How can I help them grow and further their spiritual life? You know, it's so easy as Christians to be critical of this world for sins and things that we did when we weren't saved. We did those things in blindness. We did those things in ignorance. Now that we know better, we shouldn't look down on the others who are doing it. We should be helping them, praying for them, and trying to lead them into a relationship with Jesus Christ so that they can have the revelation knowledge and ultimately the salvation that comes from accepting Jesus as their Lord and Savior. So just going forward, remember there's four things we believe a disciple of Jesus Christ will do every day. You're going to wake up and you're going to seek to encounter God. You're going to spend time with him some way. You're going to exalt God, right? You're going to praise him. You're going to worship him. You're going to let people know how great he is. You're going to edify yourself by reading the word of God. You're going to take time. You're going to study. And you're going to let the, God, the word of God grow in your heart. And finally, you're going to engage this world for Jesus Christ. You're going to go out and you're going to tell people about how wonderful he is. You're going to witness and testify of his greatness. So we love you. And until next time, God bless.